Hey everybody, it's Martha. Welcome back. We are going to continue with the Butterfly Giveaway Journal. And again, this is the cover. Um, I'm using my phone to record, so hopefully everything will come out right with this video and I don't have to do it all over. <laughs> Trying new setups, new ways of recording. Um, my phone has a lot more memory than my iPad, so I'm trying this, and we'll see how it comes out. So yesterday I made um, these little, like, specimen cards, and you can see here where the glue leaked. And I trust me, I used such a small amount of glue, and it should never have leaked in there, so... I'm just going to let it be because that's just the way it is. Um, you know, they they aren't, some of, a couple of them aren't as bad as the others, but <laughs> it's just the way it goes. So, um, what I did was I had printed these butterflies on um, vellum and then spent one evening in front of TV cutting them out. So... They're almost the same on both sides. One side is a little fainter. But, you know, for me, I think it looks pretty good. Um, here's a darker one. And I saw Wendy do this. Is it Wendy or Gina? Oh, my goodness. I keep getting those two mixed up. And I know other people have done this. I think Gail did this. Um, maybe not with the vellum. I can't remember. But I had ordered these after I saw Gail get some as a gift in Happy Mail. And I thought, oh, heck, why not? <laughs> so I ordered a bunch. So I am going to um, put the grommets in or the eyelets. And what I did was I used my 3 16th hole. Now I have the... I have the big one that sits on the desk and I also have this one. This one's hard for me because I have arthritis in my thumbs here. So this one's a little harder for me, but it's good for quick projects where I'm just doing a couple. I've already punched the hole, but I thought I would do this on camera because I know a lot of people have a lot of trouble with these. Now I have a chart. <clears throat> I have to find it, but I have the chart and this chart is, I, I copied the chart onto, um, onto this. So if you take a screenshot of that, I will hold it very still. You could take a screenshot of that and you can print it out for yourself, you know, crop it in your photo program and print it out for yourself. So if you're using 3 16 eyelets, use the top is A and the base is one. So a lot of times I keep this one for the smaller um, and I did not bring my glasses in here. Let's see, okay, so this is the A block, okay. <clears throat> and I sometimes have problems getting it in, so I just gently push it. And this little nubby one is the um, base one. So this is the base one, and the number is right here in the corner. I, I don't know if that's ever going to show up on camera, but oh, maybe at that angle with the light hitting it. So that's one. So I just... And... This is the A. So for three sixteenths eyelets, you have to have the right blocks put in here or it won't work. So what I do is I put um, the, the nubbier one, the one that sticks up on the bottom, because for me, it's just easier that way. And you can even put the eyelet right on the nubby, see? And then you can put this inside and then press okay and that's how the back comes out some people have wondered if that's correct and it is that's just when the metal spreads that's just how it comes out you don't have to squeeze with a whole bunch of it, the squeezing doesn't bother my thumbs because you don't have to squeeze really hard you just have to touch it together the machine does all the work what hurts my thumbs is stretching them out this far <laughs> so there you go so i'm going to put the eyelet on the little nubby part and then decide which side I want to be the front, which it doesn't really matter. 
as pretty much you can see from both sides. And then <clears throat> same with this one. Oops, except when you have chubby little fingers like me. Okay, put that on there. Set that in the hole and squeeze in there. So now I've got the three holes in there. And you can tie a sari ribbon through there. You could tie regular ribbon through there. You can tie, um, use a bulb pin. You can use a paper clip. You can, you can do whatever you want. So I haven't decided where these are going to go yet, but I did want to make them. And I wanted to show you guys how I did that. <clears throat> so get that off of my desk. I'm going to put these in the ephemera bucket, which is right here. And I also made yesterday, now, if you need me to show you how to do this, um, I will try and link the proper videos below where I saw, or at least the last one I saw using these. So um, I'm really bad at linking stuff. I really am. So ask me if I didn't do it and you want to see it, ask me. So I did make a couple of corner pockets yesterday. This one goes that way. This one goes that way. And this one goes that way. And all I did was I took book page, took a book page, folded it up like this so the corner and the edge met, cut this off, glued this, and then covered it with the paper that I wanted. Let me put this back. Oh, okay. And so um, I made three corner pockets and that was fun and I used some of the butterflies I cut out and I have this fabric that is um, actually um, it's not cheesecloth it's got a name <laughs> and I got it at Walmart a while back they're they're actually towels that I tea dyed it's it's a dish towel basically is what I what it is what it boils down to so there's those and Let's see, these are my left, leftover book pages. Um, I was going to do something. I glued two book pages together, and I think what I was going to do is make two large tags out of them. Whoopsies. And let me glue two more pages together because I'm going to need three, at least three tall tags, if not more. I lost that piece of paper. Who knows where it went? So we will. <laughs> I'm a little discombobulated. I just changed a bunch of stuff around. <laughs> I am constantly, constantly trying to find new ways for my room to work. So, um, oh, actually, I could use this, which I made the other day. All right, we'll 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 hang on to that. I forgot I had that. See? I forgot I had that. Shh. No barking, guys. Okay, go ahead and bark. So it's a really nice uh, day here weather-wise. It started out a little wet. It's not going to work. Where is my... Oh, my Lord. <clears throat> well... <laughs> I seem to have misplaced my mat again. <laughs> that mat, that mat disappears faster every day. <laughs> have I ever told you that I believe my house is haunted? Yeah. So I, I, I know there's people who don't believe in that, but I swear to you, things that should be right here disappear all the time. And then a few days later, I'll find them. And I know I'm not the neatest person in the world, but I do try to keep my stuff organized because, um, you know, I go a little nuts if I can't find them. So, yeah. <clears throat> Excuse me while I clear my throat. I had cheese. I had uh, breakfast for lunch. <laughs> I made a cheese omelet and cheese clogs up my throat. So that one will dry. Meanwhile, let us decide what we, what papers we will use on this. So I have such a huge variety 
of papers. I think this is, um, this is, I think, a freebie from somebody. I I'll try and figure it out if I remember, and I will try to link it below, but several people have freebies. Um, if you get their um, e-newsletters or you go to their websites, a lot of people have freebies. So all you have to do is pay attention to Facebook posts and um, to the videos you watch and people will put links to where they have their freebies listed. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Do I want... I don't know if I trust this book not to have bad words in it. <laughs> Since it's David Baldacci, I don't read them, so I don't know... Well, that didn't rip very well, did it? No, it did not, Martha. Mm, not really what I'm looking for at the moment. At the moment, though. So I hope this finds you all doing well. Uh, my husband just took the dogs out of the sunroom because they were barking, but now they're both going to stand at the door and want back in, so. I don't, don't know quite whether that was the right move or not. That's pretty. Trying to think when I cut this down the middle for the, for the, uh, maybe I'll wait on that. You know, the mind is a mysterious thing. <laughs> I'm going to put some background paper on. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Let's put some background paper on. And I just ate my breakfast, so if you hear my stomach growling, I do apologize. Um, I have digestive... <laughs> Sometimes I have digestive issues. So. so there's that to deal with. That's not very straight, Martha. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, so like I said, I hope this finds you doing well. Um, it's very scary. It's a scary world right now. And I hope you're not having a lot of trouble dealing with it. Um, I had a lot of trouble last week. I think I mentioned in my last video, which as of this uh, video being made, I did not publish yet. It is on my iPad waiting to be published. But I'm trying to get a little bit ahead and I want to keep working on this while you all are around. And um, I did want to say, whoa, whoa. That's not what I wanted to say. I wanted to say that I thank you all profusely for the um, comments you've been leaving. It really means a lot to me um, when you all leave comments because um, I don't know if you know it, but YouTube does track and um, the more comments and the more followers you get, the more likely you are to um, pop up as a recommended video for other people to watch. So it's important for those of us making the videos and it's important for, um, for us to feel that, yeah, I like that down there. For us to feel that, um, you know, people are paying attention and they appreciate us. So I do greatly appreciate the comments I've been getting lately. And um, I know I don't make videos as regularly as most people. But I'm trying. I really am. And when I'm not stuck in my own head, <laughs> which, which is pretty often, um, I like to share. So I know I have a long ways to go before I, you know, sort of get as good as some other people, but I'm doing my best and I'm enjoying sharing with everybody. And um, so, yeah, I'm working on it. 
I am working on it. So I'm just working off screen over here. And the reason I do that is because my trash can is there. It's more likely to go in my trash can if I sort of aim for it. Um, yeah. Otherwise, it sort of ends up on the rug. And I have a shag rug in here. It's a sunroom with a very long shaggy rug. And you'd be amazed at... <laughs> I have no idea which way this goes. At um, how absurdly things get lost when I drop them. Uh, luckily, paper usually sits right on top, but it's crazy how easily things just sink right into the carpet. Right in between all those things that stick. It's just crazy. Crazy, crazy. Tis, I tell you. Where are... All right, I moved things over, and now I can't find... Oh, there. Oh, my gosh. So I moved my camera to the left. I moved my cart that holds all my stuff to the right, and everything was reversed before. So, man, I'm struggling. Um, let's see. Here we go. I knew I had some bits left over from making those corner pockets. So pretty. So, so pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah, so like I was saying, it's, it's a very scary world out there right now, isn't it? So hopefully I'm able to bring a little bit. Um, not that I ever thought I'd be the one to say this about myself. But hopefully I can bring a little bit of um, relief and sanity. Sanity is not something I ever thought anybody would say about my stuff, but a little bit of sanity for a little while for you all, as those that I watch have brought for me. Um, okay, now I think I'm going to use, what do I do with that? I think I'm going to use some of this. Right up here. Yes. And that sort of has that green behind it and it sort of covers up the bold colors of that plant when everything else is a little more subtle. So I think I started talking about the weather. I'm sorry. I know my conversations go all over the place and trust me, it's like that in real life. <laughs> my conversations are not very focused. I want something to break this up too. <laughs> so, yeah. That'll come later. Um, but the weather here has been chilly, and today it's going to be near 80, and tomorrow it's supposed to be in the 80s, and um. Then, like, Monday, it's supposed to be 50. <laughs> but I'm not complaining because right now, out west, I know there are people getting snow. Lots and lots and lots of snow. So comment below and tell me what your weather is today and tomorrow and over the weekend or whenever you're watching this. Let me know what your weather is. <laughs> I'd be curious to know. I like that. Just a pop of color. Maybe now a butterfly. A butterfly. Hmm. A little too blendy blendy, maybe? No. Let's see. Some of these butterflies are not very bright. Let's see. I like that one. <clears throat> Don't know if it'll face that way, but that one seems to work the best. Sort of a little blendy blendy, but that's okay. I'm all right with that. Okay. I'm going to let that one dry. And <clears throat> goodness, excuse me. Drink. I need to drink. Mm -mm -mm -mm. 
So this one is mostly dry. So we will um, throw some stuff on there. Okay. I like it when it fits. So let's see. I had some things on my mind that I was going to suggest. And now they've totally just, you know, I turn on the camera, can't remember anything. <laughs> And, and that's kind of the way it goes for me. I don't know why. Um, I had all these ideas that I was going to talk to you about. And now, you know, brain like a sieve, as they say. Just, um, just gone. So if I think of them, I will write them down. And then we can discuss them another time. Oh, okay, this page is sticky, 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 sticky. Uh, let's see, I was gonna do it that way. And then I stuck my arm in it. So hopefully, now I have tried filming on my phone before, and I know if I upload directly to YouTube, it usually works. Um, the one thing I don't like about filming on my phone is I have to put the do not disturb on. And I always worry that somebody might have an important call for me, but that doesn't happen very often to me. Um, so, so I figured what the heck, I would just go with it and see what happens. Um, now, I do um, think that... I have also recorded on my phone and tried to upload to my laptop. That does not work. And I don't know why, um, but I can get sound but no audio. <laughs> and who wants that? It'd be better the other way around. Trust me. So, um, yeah, I, I, am not, uh, I am not successful at that. So... I'm not sure why. Um, it's probably some sort of setting. And I have an older laptop, so maybe that's why I don't, I don't know. I don't know. That works. Okay, I'll do that. So, um, yeah, black screen with just my voice, not worth it. So that didn't work. Um, if I do a really short video, I can download it to my laptop like 10 minutes. But anything longer than that doesn't work. So I just went into my phone and played with the camera settings. And um, I changed them. <laughs> so, which could have been a huge mistake. Um, we shall see. We shall see. It'll be interesting to know what, if anything, effect it has on it. And... Um, yeah, so there's a right way up and a wrong side up. So I am trying desperately to get things right side up. <clears throat> and so there's that. I'm hoping that this whole uh, working on my iPhone works because then I can... Um, record more videos because like I said I have I have the highest storage you can get on an iPhone um, when I bought this iPhone that's what I thought I would use it for was these videos but then I started you know continuing to use my iPad and so that's where I did that but I can only put one or two hour long videos on my iPad technology I'll tell you it's just a bear sometimes. And the funny part is that, um, you know, I used to be fairly good at technology. I used to help other people with simple issues. <laughs> Not anymore. I'm always putting a call for help out to my more tech savvy friends. It's just, I don't know, maybe because I, 
when I was able to help other people, I was at work and I was more in tune and I could learn from a few people that were around me, but I don't know. It's just, it's just amazing to me how, how things change and how they move on, <laughs> how the world moves on without us when we fall behind. Yeah. There's that. Okay, let's see. Well, I hear my husband coming in, so maybe he took the dogs outside. So my poor husband, he went to two stores today. There's a small Food Lion, which is a grocery store here in Virginia. He went there and he was trying to um, get a few things that, see a week ago, he really didn't believe this was a thing. This whole isolation, you know, virus being so horrible. He was in a bit of denial. And I don't blame him because two weeks ago I was. So right now he's sort of, this week he's sort of where I was last week where I was very down and I wasn't um, sure what was going to happen in the world, which nobody ever is. Let's face it, um, from one day to the next, you never know what's going to happen. You never know what's going to happen in your own life. I mean, in 2007, one minute I was out riding my horse or trying to ride my horse, get on my horse. And the next minute, I was having a massive heart attack. So, yeah, it's, it's, you never know. You never know what life is going to dish out to you. No one, you know, life is not guaranteed. As they say, the only guarantee in life are death and taxes. Such a happy thought. So, <laughs> sorry. But it's true. I mean, you're just not guaranteed anything, right? So who knows if you're even going to make it through the day, just normal everyday living. I mean, there there is no... That looks really oddly off to me. I wonder if it's an optical illusion. <laughs> I have to double check myself all the time. Okay, if I line that up to that line. No, it's about right. How odd. All right, how wide is this? This is like five and maybe a quarter. So two and a half and two and a half is five. My math. Don't don't even listen to me. So I think right about two and a half and a little bit more. <laughs> like that for measurement wow look at that how on spot was that spot on was I <laughs> my father used to say things sort of backwards like that and he used to tell me it was because he was French <laughs> Canadian French not French not France French so hopefully this glue is dry because I hate cutting into wet glue it messes everything up so, <laughs> I have a question for you guys. Has anybody else started to sort of panic that with, like, Amazon closing down and only mailing essential stuff and, um, and you know, stores being closed down all over the place? You can't go to Joann's or Hobby Lobby. Has anybody else started freaking out thinking you're going to run out of... Um, supplies like I started thinking today oh my gosh maybe I should buy some fabric online and and maybe this and maybe <laughs> I got more stuff here than Carter has pills as my as my husband says it really isn't necessary for me to run out and buy anything <laughs> it really is not <laughs> all right so I'm gonna save this one to cut up um, depending on what size 
cards I need to put in the signatures, um, journaling cards and, you know, um, that kind of stuff and see if I still have enough pockets. All right. So where's my, my, that's my butterfly bin. This is my ephemera bin. And we're going to start packing ephemera into this thing before I, before I keep making some. And then we find out there's too much. Is there ever too much ephemera? Yes, there is. Because um, if you can't close the signatures, if you can't close the journal, that's too much. Um, so who knows? If there's too much, <laughs> maybe we'll make a small journal or something to go along. Right? Now, I was going to sew some of this stuff, but my sewing machine is over there. And it used to be over there. <laughs> And um, so if I find, like, I was going to sew along these, I might stop the camera and sew along them. And then, um, and then come back. But I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a page out of Rachel's book, so to speak. And I'm going to paper clip my choices in I think and see how that goes um also I was going to show you how I decided to cut because my pages are all different uh sizes I was going to show you kind of how I did that too so let me get the cutting board again I hope this video comes out okay <laughs> I hope you're not seeing my arm reach in front of the camera too many times and like I said, I've rearranged things so it's a little wonky doodle in here. And um, it's a challenge. So, let's see. So, this has to fit this size page. So, do I want to take it off the top? Do I want to take it off the bottom or some off of both? Let's see what I've got here. Hmm. I might try a little off the bottom and a little more off the top. Okay. Alrighty. And I'll take, try not to take too, too much off. Just the bits we don't need. Okay, so it's still a little bit, a little tiny bit too much. Oops. Oops. Hmm, don't know how straight that is. Okay, that worked. I think that was in there. And then the other, let's see where the other pages are. I hope I'm on camera. I'm not. I'm way off camera. Sorry. Not used to this. All right. And what I did with this was I basically just folded the bottom up. if that works. Yep. And then that and that. That this should be. Okay, so I need to cut a little bit off of the top of this. Is it lined up correct? Not really. going to take off a couple of hairs. <clears throat> okay. Let's see. And then the edges of this, I just folded this in. I can just fold this in a little more. And I should take care of that. 
close enough. So close enough. And then these are always a little too tall. And this one's in kind of rough shape, so we're going to whack a little off anyway. See how this works. Pretty close on that too. Okay, so this should except for the doily, which is still all wonky doodle. <laughs> all right, I'm just gonna make it short. That's what we're gonna do. So my poor daughter. She works for a trade show company and because all the conferences and trade shows are being canceled she found out I think day before yesterday that she has had to lay off a bunch of people or she had to um, tell them they were getting reduced pay and she's one of the people getting reduced pay so she was not in a very good place yesterday or today now see I cut that one too short but that's okay I'm not worried about that it's okay it's a design element I learned that from doing a thing called Sayori weaving and there's a woman, there was, she's no longer on this earth. And her name was, I believe it was pronounced Miso Jo, or something like that, in Japan. And she developed a form of weaving called Sayori weaving, which is basically, it means free form. And ever since I learned that form of weaving um, and making cloth that way, I sort of try and incorporate that into all of my work. And it, it's sort of a cross between free form and no worries, no rules. So it's a very freeing way to create and I am grateful that I found it because it takes a lot of stress out. <laughs> you, you don't need to stress. You don't want to stress. You shouldn't stress. Stressing is not good. Stress is not good. Take it from someone who's had a heart attack. And lots of stress. Now, I don't worry about this too much. When I sew these in, that tightens the inside pages a lot when, when you're pushing in. And I don't worry about uneven pages. It's okay. It's all right. You don't have to have everything perfect. It's a journal. It's, it's a piece of art. That's how I look at it. Okay. So we have our three envelopes, and on the back we have our pockets, and I did these yesterday. These were, I think I have one more of these, hold on, somewhere, somewhere, okay. So this came like this, and all I did was I glued it together. So now it's a journaling card, you have writing space on the back. And I, I just, when it when it prints out, it prints out like this. So I just glued it, and it makes a journaling card, which, <laughs> smart move, Andrea. And again, this is from Andrea's kit, Butterflies in Blue, digital kit. So I have, a, I have the envelopes in the front, the pocket in the back. And if you want to sort of, have your stuff distributed evenly throughout 
go through your signature. I learned this from Gail and everybody. I mean, I learned this from everybody. Go through and sort of measure where things are and where you have stuff already in there. And you can sort of determine where you need something else. So I have the envelope, right? The folded envelope. I have the belly band. So I think I'm gonna put a corner pocket in the back, not too far back, maybe on this page. And I will take this one and put this here. And I like that these are sticking out. Which way is this supposed to go? That is supposed to go this way. And I'm okay with that, but I'm gonna move this corner to that corner so I don't get it caught up in the stitches when I stitch here. Now I'm just gonna paper clip this for placement. And what I'm gonna do is go back and I'll either sew on the card or I may sew the card onto the page. I haven't decided yet. So that's that one. And every signature is different in where I placed things. So it's going to mean that where I place the next one may not be the same place where I placed the first one. So this has the belly band on the back. And I'm trying to see if it's right side. <laughs> I could put that one there. Okay, and then this one, I try not to overthink it, but I'll be honest, I overthink everything. So the belly band is more towards the front and that one. So putting this in the back would be a good idea. You'll we'll put it on this side on this one. There we go. I'm going to put it there. Because this page is all wrinkly, it's a little less easy to write on well. And though it could still be written on, I think I like the pocket there. Okay. So there's those three. Now I have these little bags that I had pre-made up. So let's find a spot for these. And since I put most of those corner pockets in the back, we'll look in the front. Yep. And I'm going to do this on three sides. I'm not going to sew this, so I will glue it. And I have a little, I have a little tiny clothespin that I glued to my, I don't know if I can show you. I'm gonna tilt you. Close your eyes if you get seasick. So I have a little tiny clothespin here and I glued it to my twirly thing and that's where I put my pin so I don't lose my pin in my mess. Okay, let's see. Okay, you're back and hopefully you're still straight up. Look at that, 43 minutes already. Holy cow, how did that happen? <laughs> I can see another video coming. Okay. So I'm going to... And a little a skinny card could go behind this. And I love tall, skinny cards. So we will have space to put something inside the bag. And then a skinny card behind the bag. Sop up the excess glue. Okay. Alrighty. I like that one. Alright. And next. So I don't want it too close to the envelopes. Let's put it right here. That's a pretty one. 
Actually, I want this one in here. I don't know why. It's telling me it needs to be in there. <clears throat> okay. So I went for a walk with my husband the other day to go with them, get the mail. And I may have mentioned this in my last video. Went to get the mail. Came home. Couldn't breathe. My allergies. My allergies are kicking my butt. And that's all it is. I don't have a fever. I sneeze a couple times a day. But I get that post-nasal drip. Ugh. So for me, as beautiful as it is out right now, it's just not worth it for me to go outside. So it's just another reason to stay in my happy, crafty sunroom and spend time in here. Let's see. So get there. I think. I don't know if I want it on that page. I think we'll put it on this page. I just love these little paper bags, but I, I don't think Hobby Lobby has them anymore. If I remember, these might have been the ones that I got on clearance. And I was very excited because they're not waxy. They don't have a waxy feel to them at all. And everything I find now has a waxy feel and it's hard to get, it's hard to glue things down to them, to be honest. Okay, so we'll be making a couple of, well, we might not have to make them. We have tall tags right here. That will not fit inside of the back of that. It might. <laughs> See, that would fit inside right there. And then I could cut this down and use the rest of that as a smaller tag somewhere else but we'll see I'm gonna let these dry first but I do have those and I may have to make some tall skinny tags or not so tall something to go in the front something to go in the back so maybe we'll work on that during the next video so I'm going to let's see 47 minutes Oops, what else do I have in here? Well, let's put, well, I can't put those in because I haven't, I haven't sewn the corner pockets yet. So I have, whoopsies, I have these. I printed those same cards out in miniature and I may just do the same thing, fold them in half and they will be, like a miniature journaling card, or I may not glue it and I could just um, ink that or stencil it and it could be opened up and used. So I might do that. There's a little corner pocket from the kit, another one. This is just a journaling card. I have some tabs. I have some banners. I have tickets. I have tabs. Um, I made these into journaling cards. This is just a paper that I stitched on and then I scanned it. So um, it makes it makes a fun journaling card kind of thing. Um, more tickets, which I'd probably have to back because I did not uh, print that on cardstock, so they're not very stiff. I have quite a few tags in here, but not skinny tags. And I have these, which I think I might make put three more pockets in there. Let's do that. I didn't stitch around my last pockets. So maybe I won't stitch around these pockets. Let's find a place for that. And hopefully, so I have a pocket back there. Looks like I didn't glue it on very straight. <laughs> I'm such a mess. I can't sew straight. I can't draw straight. I can't glue straight. Oh my gosh. Well, that's on the other side of the banner page, so that wouldn't be so bad. So let's see. Let's put a, put a
punch in this. Whee! Okay. Yep. Inky dinky doo. I want to ink it. So yeah, so comment below. Um, what are you doing with your time at home? I'd be interested in that. Um, my husband is cleaning. He's cooking. He brought a cake mix home. I'm like, really? So I guess people have not bought up all the cake mixes and frosting mixes. <laughs> I'm getting no exercise at all, so I have to watch what I'm eating. All right, this is going to go there. And I may still at some point do further decoration on these. Uh oh, I didn't put my pin back in. Um, oh, Martha. I may do further decoration on the front. Might put lace on them, more trim, or more butterflies. I really appreciate you guys that have commented all you ladies I shouldn't call you guys I got reprimanded by somebody once when I addressed a an email to you guys started out oh I in somewhere in the in the body of the email I was writing to a fiber group and somebody reprimanded me we're not guys we're women we've earned the right to be women don't call us guys I'm like seriously I know it's slang it's bad slang but come on you guys <laughs> don't beat me up for that okay this one's gonna go more toward I'm gonna put it right here in the middle that one or that one I like that one so I try and be cognizant when I'm saying you guys but all y'all which I picked up from living here in the South. I am not a Southerner. I am a Northerner. Um, sorry, I can't concentrate on a, gluing a straight line and talk at the same time, obviously. And now I totally lost my train of thought. Oh, well, Martha. Like I said, I'm such a mess. I'm just glad you're here with me. Alrighty. There we go. That's two down. Two down, one to go. Thank you very much. Where are we going to put this pocket? That has the baggie there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wrong pile. Okay. I knew that looked familiar. Oh my gosh.
All right. Too much fun. Okay. Well, thank you again for joining me. I really appreciate it. And I love you all. And I hope that you have a crafty day. I hope if you've lost your mojo, you get it back. I hope that you are not stressed and that you are well. And I hope you'll come back and see me again. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.